Hi everyone, it's Roger here from whatsondisneyplus.com. It's Friday, it's time for a quick Disney Plus news update. So we're talking about Obi-Wan Kenobi, what's new on Disney Plus, and a brand new film called The Valet. So let's start off with it being a Friday, that means it's time for some new content. And the big release today was Better Nate Than Ever, a brand new original movie all about a kid that heads off to New York to audition for Lilo and Stitch at the Broadway. And it's just, it's a really, really great film. Really recommend it. Um, it's just got some great songs in there. It's got a great story. And it is, I think, one of the best Disney Plus original films that we've seen so far. Definitely recommend it for this weekend. This one is really good. Um, also, there was some new library content added around the world. In the United States, there was two surprise editions that I don't think anyone saw coming. Hot Shots and Hot Shots Part 2. Yeah, that's right. They've got two Hot Shot movies added to Disney Plus in the US. Kind of, again, sort of pushing in some stuff that's a little bit more mature. But again, just announce some stuff in advance, Disney. You know, they don't you know, tell people what's coming. And in addition, um, they also removed a couple of films like Mrs. Doubtfire. Um, Mr. Popper's Penguins and The Sandlot. I mean, that thing's like a yo-yo. It jumps on and off of Disney so much. So not so good on that one there. While in the UK and Ireland, there was some new library content, including Emil. You also had David Brent, Life on the Road, along with some Inside North Korea specials, some National Geographic stuff, along with Step Into the Movies, and a good movie for Autism Day, which is going to be The Reason I Jumped, so definitely worth checking out. There's also some other films as well, including The Sweeney and Welcome to the Punch. While in Canada, they got the star original movie, Book of Bloods. While in Australia and New Zealand, they got a ton of new movies, including Heat, LA Confidential, Night and Day, The Internship, In Time. We can really see how they're kind of turning the Fridays into more of the movie releases, which I think is fine. I think that kind of makes sense kind of to do that. But yeah, lots of great new content to watch on Disney+. Plus. But let me know what you're going to be watching on Disney+. Plus this weekend in the comments below. Okay, let's jump into some news. Let's talk about Star Wars Obi-Wan Kenobi. It has been announced that the premiere date has been delayed. The good news is, is it is only two days, pushing back to the 27th of May. And the even better news is we're gonna be getting two episodes at once. And this is gonna be a big release really on that Friday. It's the Memorial Weekend. Also, it's going right up against the new season of Stranger Things on Netflix. Important to note, it's only the premiere that's moved to Friday. It's going back to Wednesdays the following week, so we're still going to end up with that clash in a couple of weeks after that with Miss Marvel. Unless they just change things all again, wouldn't surprise me if they do that, because maybe they start realising what's going on. Also taking place on that same day, on the 27th of May, you have got Star Wars Celebration taking place in Anaheim, so that could have an impact. Maybe they're doing something there, maybe they're premiering it a day early for the people that were at event. A little bit strange that they moved it away from the Wednesday because that was the anniversary, but I'm wondering if they kind of want to do something big for that weekend, but also for Star Wars Celebration, though. I think they would have maybe known that before they announced the release date, but this is the trouble when Disney announced stuff so far in advance sometimes, they end up changing their mind. So who knows? Um, I wouldn't be at all surprised if the release dates change a little bit either for Miss Marvel or something like that so they don't end up all on the same day but at the minute it's just a premiere that's shifted to that Friday but that's pretty cool good news and finally Disney has also announced that a brand new movie The Valet is going to be coming to Disney streaming services on Friday May the 20th it'll be coming to Hulu in the US Star Plus in Latin America and on Disney Plus everywhere else in the Valley, world famous movie star Olivia faces a PR disaster when a paparazzi snaps a photo of her with a married lover, Vincent, and the hardworking valet Antonio accidentally appears in the same photo and is enlisted to pose as Olivia's new boyfriend to cover it up. This is a fish out of water romantic comedy where two worlds and cultures collide. I think this comedy sounds pretty fun. Definitely going to be interesting to see how all this works out. This is a remake of a popular French film. So that's always kind of interesting when they take a really good idea from somewhere else and kind of remake it for all of us. And also just great to see kind of Disney announcing global releases for their movies. But nevertheless, let me know in the comments below what you're going to be watching on Disney Plus this weekend. I shall see you guys in another video. Go check us out over at whatsondisneyplus.com and I shall see you guys soon. Later. Thank you very much for watching this video. Make sure you go check us out over at whatsondisneyplus.com. Like, follow, and subscribe. Also, a huge thank you to all of our supporters over on Patreon and also on our YouTube channel memberships. And I shall see you guys in another video. Laters.